The key objective of a soft field takeoff is to get the weight of the airplane off the soft terrain as quickly as possible. This reduces the length of the takeoff roll and also prevents the airplane from getting its nose wheel stuck in the soft terrain and possibly nosing over. To accomplish a soft field takeoff, we pull way back on the elevator and force the airplane into the air as soon as it's capable of flight. Then we level off in ground effect, allow the airplane to accelerate, and then climb out normally. It's also important that while taxiing into position, we keep the airplane moving to reduce the possibility of getting stuck. Let's see an example of a soft field takeoff. So once I start the maneuver, I'm going to taxi out onto the runway. I'm going to keep the stick back and uh, keep the airplane moving throughout the maneuver. So I've already done my checklist, my before takeoff checklist. I'm clearing the area to the right, clearing the area to the left, verifying that there's no traffic. Moraine traffic, Cessna 80254, departing runway 8, Moraine staying in the pattern. Okay, now I'm going to enter the runway. Minimal use of braking, keeping that stick back in my lap. I have a crosswind to the right, or crosswind from the right, so I'm going to bank to the right in order to make that right wing heavier than the left wing. I'm going to keep the airplane rolling on the center line. Establish the crosswind correction. Give it full power. Engine instruments are in the green. Riding the wheelie, so I got the nose wheel up. Transferring weight onto the wings as quick as I can. All right, airplane is in ground effect. I'm going to level it off here. Hold it in ground effect until I accelerate to VY. And then as I accelerate from VY, I mean, as I uh, reach VY, I'm going to continue a normal climb. I'm correcting for wind drift by crabbing a little bit to the right. Clear obstacles, flaps coming up. That completes the soft field takeoff.